Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky with another Powerful Point to Ponder. Thank you for joining me as we address this theme, what to remember when you don't like yourself. And it's based on Romans chapter 12 and verse three through six message translation. Let's look at that one more time. Look at what it says. It says in Romans chapter 12, verse three, I'm speaking to you out of deep gratitude for all that God has given me, especially as I have responsibility in relations, relations to you, living then as every one of you does in pure grace. Pure grace means I don't have to prove myself to anyone. It is important that you not misinterpret yourself. Let's stop here, that you not misinterpret yourself. And the reason why people don't like themselves is because they misinterpret themselves. What do you remember when you don't like yourself? First of all, here are some signs that you do not like yourself because a lot of people say, I like myself. But you know what? Here are some signs when you're really not comfortable in the skin that you are in. Let me give you some signs. Sign number one, is that you have inner insecurity issues. You might want to write that down. Inner insecurity issues is one of the primary signs and giveaways that I don't like myself. And what are the signs? What, what does it mean to uh, have insecurity, inner insecurity issues? And here's one of the key signs, key, always overly impacted by the opinions of others. Wow. Wow. Let me be confessional at this point. Someone said something very negative about our school, Simmons College, HBCU, uh, back in 2014. And it was some terrible things they said. In fact, it was white leadership that invalidated black institutions. They didn't believe in black led institutions. And it angered me, it angered me. And it was not until God started whooping my behind and saying, Kevin, why are you concerned about what they think about you? Why are you concerned? If I say you're okay and you believe you're okay, why are you concerned about what some white supremacists who think that they are the norm, why do you care about what they think? And I had to change my mindset and says, I don't care what you think. Your opinion is not important to me. You know, I love Martin Luther King, but I do like Malcolm X. In fact, notice I, I usually wear my Malcolm X glasses. Those are my signature glasses in honor of El Haj Malik El Shabazz. And one of the great contributions that Malcolm X had to black people is how he made us not give a damn what white folk thought. He said, you don't need their opinion. You don't need their validation. You don't need their affirmation. We thought we did because that's how slaves act. You can be free physically. You can have the chains removed from your wrist and ankles and still have the chains as Naeem Akbar, the great black psychologist says. He says, you can have those chains on your mind and on your psyche and not on your wrist and in your ankles. And one of the signs that you have those chains on your mind and your psyche is when you are overly impacted by what other people think. And I'm not saying that you can't learn from other people's opinions. You should. But when you are overly concerned about what other people think, especially when you know they don't mean you any good, then that's a sign that you don't like yourself. When you like yourself, what ultimately matters is what you think and what God thinks. Here's a second sign that you're having some inner security issues. Uh, number one, don't forget, overly impacted by what other people think. Number two, you have relational issues, relational issues. For example, anytime that you are overly critical of others, except especially when somebody else is succeeding and you're trying to tear them down or you're a gossiper, that's because you don't like yourself. You don't have to build yourself up at other people's expense. That means you don't, if you see somebody else who looks good, applaud them. If you see somebody who's got more money, a better job than you, a better house than you, that's on them. I'm comfortable with who I am. Tell all your friends and relatives, they win the new house contest. You're content with the house you got, especially since it's paid for. I'm content with my car. I'm not into a who has the best car contest. I'm not competing. When you realize I don't have to compete with anyone else except to be the best version of myself, that's when you've reached a new level of maturity. It's only uh, when you feel like you have to compete or when you're critical of others 
or when you have to tear other people down in order to build yourself up, that's a sign that you don't like yourself. If 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 other people are doing well, that has nothing to do with you. You're comfortable with your own life. Learn to enjoy and celebrate the life that God has given you. Number three, sign number one that you don't like yourself is you have insecurity issues concerned with what people think about you. Two, you have relational issues in which you are tearing other people down in order to build yourself up. By the way, if you know people like that, stay away from them. Stay away from them, and by all means, don't tell them your business because they will use it against you. They will tear you down to build themselves up. Stay far away from people who have these insecurity issues. You can love them, but some people you have to love from a long distance. And then thirdly, here's the third sign that you have some insecurity issues, and that is you have you you, you substitute symbols for substance. Symbols for substance. For example, status symbols like a new car or the new car defines you of the new house or certain types of clothes. These status symbols. Well, what happens when you don't have them? Then if your your self-esteem is something you can purchase, then it's inauthentic. It's 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 symbols and it's not substance. Some people do in terms of, of, of substitutes, they like to drop names. I know people who love to drop names. I know this person. I did this person. You know, I did dropping names is a sign that you have a problem with yourself. Don't you don't have to do that. Here's another sign. Addiction. Addiction. When you have to alter your mind by using drugs to alter your mind or anything that you have to use to alter your mind or escape who you are, that means you don't like the person who you are. So you take your mind off of your problems and your issues by addiction. Those are signs that you don't like yourself. Let me ask you, how do you how would you grade yourself when it comes to security, inner security issues? Are you overly impacted by the opinions of others? How would you rank yourself when it comes to relational issues that become roadblocks to intimacy because you're too critical of others, you're very competitive with others, you're tearing other people down in order to build yourself up? How are you doing when it comes to the substitutes for authentic self-worth well, I got to move up in the house to impress people that I'm somebody. I've got to buy certain things that with money I don't have in order to impress people I don't like. How are you doing with those areas? Those are signs that God does not like ourselves. But that we don't, excuse me, that's those signs that we don't like ourselves. God always loves us and likes us, but we don't like ourselves. Tomorrow we're going to pick up on this and we're going to talk about ways in which we can be healed. Ways we can be healed. When we, if you checked off those four, those three things that I've given you today, you want to be here tomorrow when we talk about how we can overcome it. All right. But let's first, first face it. I got some me issues and it really boils down to some me issues. Me. Fix me, Lord. It's not my mother, not my father, not my sister, not my brother, but it's me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word today. And help us, I pray, to hear your word and to get on the path to healing, to take what we're learning and to weave it into our lives right now in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank you for being with me for another powerful point to ponder. Look, if you don't have a church home, we'd love to invite you to become a digital member of St. Stephen Church. And I say digital member, I want you to, to come and worship with us online, regardless of where you are in the country. And I want you to become a part of a Sunday school class, a small group, because it's good to be in fellowship with other people in small groups. And there's a lot of great Sunday school classes. And I hope you'll contact us, newstart at ssclive.org. All right. We'll pick up on this tomorrow. But until then, during COVID-19 and the, and the Delta variant, don't forget, stay safe, stay sane, and by all means, get vaccinated. We'll pick up on this again tomorrow. Peace and blessings.